So we do have some lag here, folks. I do apologize. Once again, this is an international car. We're going to go ahead and test out the connection here. So, of course, there is going to be some fluctuations here and there as we are reaching overseas. So we're gonna go ahead and work with what we got. Got a little bit of stutter. So it looks like it's uh, working out fairly well. JJ Mondo getting the uh, guaranteed stun off the wall grab there. Now, Bo, or B.O., however his name is, one of the more underutilized characters in the cast. Bo is an extremely taky character. However, Bo doesn't really have many, like he's very one dimensional as well. Altador, hey, hello. How are you? Welcome to the armory. Yes, wake up, that, wake up moves in Def Jam, although invincible, are rather unsafe. Robert opting to go with Bo here, not quite working out against JJ Mondo's pockets, who has very high damage output, having some of the strongest hit confirms in the game, being a martial artist, street fighter, and a kickboxer. However, Bo, very tanky there. You saw he ate a full haymaker and was able to get up from it. However, Robert trying to go for the grab there. No dice. Gets another street fight. Gets another haymaker, and that is going to be a stun. Oh. the base the blazer for the freeze frame that wake up is going to whiff he's going to go ahead and activate the blaze in there mk will be right after this episode we got two more matches well technically uh we're wrapping up our first match and then we'll look to see about doing a second match this match is getting wrapped up quick What's going on, Remix? You fought against Robert as a Masa and won? Really? Really? You don't say? Hmm. I might have to try that. <laughs> I'm going to take your. It's going to be a good one. Oh, Bo trying to use that martial arts. And no wall combo there from Robert. A very, a very missed opportunity there. Could have used the wall animation. And now he's gonna have a double down. No, it was enough time. All right, good parry there from Robert. Trying to get something started. He has the blazing. Opts to not activate it. He almost lost it there, but activates it in time. He gets the parry, but doesn't look to see if he has him stunned or not. All right, gets another parry. This is a possible stun situation. No. Oh, and a nice parry, and he gets the blazing. All right, Robert here, getting something going. Oh, but does it finish the combo? And that's gonna give JJ Mondo one more chance. This is not good. 
JJ Mondo fighting on. Gets the block. No grab. Gets the parry. That's a heavy grab. But Bo, very high health, very high chance that he'll wake up from this. No. JJ Mondo putting on as much damage as he possibly can. And that's a double down. Oh, and another parry plus. Gets the wall grab. Oh, and gets another wall stick, and that is a guaranteed wall stun. That is going to be a wall combo, and Robert is looking to get on the board here. Robert, the only Robert, getting on the board here, making the set 2-1 as we move forward onto the character select screen. JJ Mondo opting to possibly change character and or stage, which is allowed by the loser. For those of you that are new to competitive fighting, uh, co competitive Def Jam fight for New York, there is a set of tournament rules here. We're going to go ahead and go over those rules real quick. Band characters and stages are in effect. The first match must be played at Club Murder. Loser gets to pick character first. Loser gets to change character and or stage. And the loser cannot pick a stage they won on during a set. Getting back into things, we're going to go ahead and have JJ making the David Banner pick. Very strong stuff there going for the immediate counter pick as David Banner has one of the highest damaging haymakers in the game. Definitely looking to get that stun going. David Banner also having a very quick jab. Also very strong 6P. Being able to approach. Very similar to Sticky Fingers 6P except that his actually works properly. Robert here doing a taunt trying to build that charisma. He wants that full blazing meter. But he gets caught with the running kick. That is one of the best running kick animations in the game and a beautiful side step. And a nice mix up there with the heavy 4K. And Robert here trying to play a little keep away. Gets caught. Nice block, but no punish. Oh, and no fingertips. Snatching Bo up for the whip punish. That 5B, good stuff. Only Robert staying alive. Some back and forth here. Pretty much any touch will do it for Banner at this point. That is what you want if you are David Banner. JJ Mondo getting the combo going. Is it going to stun? Yes, it is. And a nice chunk of damage, and that's going to be a full blazing meter. Oh, and he whips the wake up again. That is a possible whiff punish. No, he's too slow. And he gets heavy grab. That's going to be a wall combo, but he's in blazing, so this may not stun. Oh, and he gets whiff punished again. Only Robert went for it all, and now he's a potentially about to lose it all as he gets caught with the blazing. Throwing him, trying to get that door animation. No dice. This is a possible chain stun. No, Bo, the toughness. Helping Robert out in this case. Robert trying desperately to stay alive. Tries to go for the mix up there with the heavy kick. Same here for JJ, but gets Perry. Oh, 
Blake gets caught there with the grab. And that is looking to be game, set, and match possibly. No, actually, this is the first of five. Sorry. No, and another miss on the grab punish. We got to account here. This is net play, so there is a little bit of input lag. As you see with the frame drops. JJ Mondo trying to uh, work, work as best as he can in the, in the situations. All right, this is looking to be about it. No, Bo with the guts. That tankiness. Bo is tough as hell. Nice whip punish there with the wall attack. And a nice block there. That is looking to be a potential stun. No, Robert doesn't take advantage of it. And he catches it with the blazing. That's going to be game two for Robert. Bang, bang. That was poetry. Shakespeare either. And Robert with the comeback here. Fighting for his life to the very end. Now getting that confidence back. Going for more mix-ups. JJ's gotta figure something out, figure it out fast. Banner Haymaker, as you can see, very powerful stuff. Can stun even the toughest of characters. Oh, and another whiff, wake up. No, but he has to try to throw him to the side, doesn't get the grab. Here trying to play the keep away game, waiting for JJ to try to work with one of those uh, one of those heavy kicks to get the parry. JJ doing a great job of just kind of keeping his nerve. And another stun. But the RNG kicks in, he falls off the wall. Oh, and another grab. And that is a full stun. Heavy 6K will do it. Giving JJ that full blazing meter. Oh, tries to get the grab. And a nice parry there from Robert. Robert doing an excellent job sniffing out those heavy kicks. And a nice whip punch with the wall attack. Flying torpedo. No, and he whips another one. Looking to be the same story as last game. However, Robert was able to turn around. Is he going to be able to do it this time? No, and the RNG kicks in. Robert gets another chance. Don't call it a comeback. This is not what you want if you're JJ. get the wall grab but he gets the conversion which will lead to a stun he's gonna try to go for the full combo again but the RNG not his friend today
And I just saw a new combo. Did y'all see that? The Dirty South special. <laughs> I've never seen that in the entirety that I played Def Jam. That's actually kind of cool. Oh no, the lag kicking in. It's not good. JJ, he just wants to finish this. He just wants to get this out of the way here. All right. He finally gets the scenario he needs and takes game number three in this first to five set. Elfin, what's going on? No, you actually spelled it right. You actually one of the few people that spell it right the first time. Everybody else puts an E in there for some reason. 